We've been going to high schools, you know, all around this country as a part of, you know, stopping military recruiting, but not just like stopping and, and you know, you shouldn't join, but actually unleashing the students to drive the military recruiters out. Because you have to have you have to call them to fly.
our soldiers are being trained as predators and they are being set loose on civilian populations that never even attacked us in the first place. I can't live with it. I don't know how people in this country live with it. I don't know how the Iraqis and the Afghans live with it every single day. The mission statement of the U.S. Army is to engage and destroy. To engage and destroy. There is no nation building. There is no humanitarian operations. The mission statement of the U.S. Army is to engage and destroy, and that's what we are doing. And when you turn that force loose on a civilian population, as we have done in Iraq and Afghanistan, it is called genocide. And it is a war crime. And the people of, the, of Iraq and Afghanistan have had their countries gutted by our force, absolutely gutted. This is real, people. And it's not going to stop. It is not going to stop until we do something about it. Until we liberate ourselves from our subservience to genocide. We have had our wills subverted over and over again. But we can forge the kind of movement capable of ending these crimes now and forever. gotta do something. I feel we have not built the kind of movement that the government finds to be threatened. You go to peace rallies, you go to peace marches, and you see people marching around with American flags. That makes me sick. The American flag to me is a very particular brand of slavery. I was property of the U.S. government, and that flag was my master. And that's one of the reasons why about a month and a half ago in front of 5,000 people in Washington, D.C., in front of the White House, I burnt that symbol of slavery. You go to peace rallies and you see people holding up signs that say support the troops. Can you really support the troops and not support the war? No. You cannot, and I say this to you as a former troop. You know why these soldiers are over there doing this? Beyond the fact that they've been dehumanized to the point where it's capable, where they are capable of doing this? It's because they think that you support them. Because all they hear from the American population is, don't worry about a GI, we support you. This is a recipe for endless war. If the troops knew that they were not supported, they would stop deploying and committing war crimes. This is a message that takes a lot of courage to represent in our current society. But knowing the realities, children, knowing the realities, we have a responsibility, not just to the Iraqis and to the Afghans, but to the young men and women who are going to carry this out. They don't want to be there. War's not a fun place. It's not, it's not, you know, kicks. It's horrible. It's hell. But they're doing it because they think people support them. If you guys want to support the troops, you got to tell them the truth. You got to tell them that they're involved in genocide. You got to tell them that you don't support what they're doing. And you got to tell them that you don't honor the warrior and you don't honor the war. Be honest, offend people if you have to, because that's the only way to save them.